We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. I am your host today, Bumpy McSquiggums, and we are diving in and uh, we're starting up our coverage of Atelier Riza 3 or Atelier Riza 3, however you would like to say it. I like the Atelier, but eh, we'll see. Alchemist of the End in the Secret Key. It is due out on March 23rd, 2023. This is the PlayStation 5 version of the game. And a big shout out and a thank you to Koei Tecmo for hooking me up with the code for this. It means a lot, and as usual with them, they went above and beyond what they had to do, and it is truly appreciated. It is a fantastic thing that I get a chance to work with them. All right, um, I bought the original Atelia Ryza. I have not played that one yet. I played quite a bit of two, haven't beaten it yet, which makes me frustrated because I wanted to beat it before three came out. But as you guys know, my list of things to do is like, astronomically massively large and uh only very few things ever get finished but we we continue to plug away and plink away and hack away and eventually we'll get there all right so this is all in uh japanese i know this is gonna bother some people but i am going to read over it i have the voices turned down low i just gotta accept it and move on so just be aware of that but um you know, I'm going to give you guys the prologue movie, but I'll put it as a separate video that I post alongside of this. Because oftentimes with videos like that, um, I'd rather just put it out there as part of the Let's Play series, but not monetizing it. Because half the time it just gets copyright struck for whatever reason. I'm not saying Koei Tecmo specifically does it, but it's just a thing that happens. So, I'll probably put that as a separate video um, leading into this, and uh, we'll go from there. So... So, I don't know how this is going to go. Um, I think I might just stream the first game. Get heavy into streaming and then just post those on YouTube. Uh, an ordinary village called Rasenboden on an ordinary island called Kurkin. Well, we'll see. That is where I, Rizalin, a stout, an alchemist, was having an ordinary life until... Some seriously dark Juju Magumbo happened, or uh, something unexpected occurred. Indubitably. Whoa! Whoa, indeed. It just read at me. I don't know how I feel about that. Careful, Ryza. Friendos are here. That was close. Did the slow life on the island make you rusty, Raza? It'd be a joke if you need help when you come to help. A boss and I will take the front, so please cover us. Easy on me, guys. I'm just a little under the weather. Raza, are you alright? Yeah, Agatha. Please uh, give the Guardians a hand. There's still maybe some more enemies around. I was expecting this at the start of my vacation. I guess I won't be getting any rest before graduation. Really? I thought just Ryza and Summer meant I should expect trouble. That's, that's fair. Well, I had no idea I'd be assigned to investigate suspicious islands before coming back. This really is a summer with Ryza. You guys really don't like her, do you? Hey, what am I to you guys? Let me think. Oh, that's right. You're like a giant disaster magnet. It's fair. I wasn't expecting a serious answer. Anyway, let's end this now. That, that's my rise of voice. It's good, right? Got it. All right. Read at me again. I'm not sure. Oh, we get the uh, little tutorial. Combat begins when you come in contact with a monster in the field. Whether they rub their belly or not, combat is assured. The goal in battle is to defeat all the enemies. Once their HP reaches zero, you win. HP above zero for us, and that's a good thing. Conversely, if the HP, uh, the, the HP of all allies participating in the battle reaches zero, you donezo. Got it. 
The combat progresses in real time. The white gauge on the right side is the WT, the wait time gauge. Interesting. Uh, when it accumulates enough for one round, you can take action. Did it have that before? I know we, like, gained AP. I didn't... Maybe I just forgot this part of it. That there was a wait time gauge. That's that's fascinating. I had no idea. Or No, 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 no. I did, I did. I'm, I'm sorry. My brain is not... No, no, no. I, I, we're good. I know what's up. I know what's going on. Uh, press the circle button to perform a normal attack. If done correctly, you can hit up to three times in a row. Uh, try out. Okay. Boom. Oh, at the right time. When, when is the right time? Press the circle to perform a normal attack. If done correctly, you can hit up three times in a row. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, all right. it's, it's when it flashes on the right. Okay, you can uh, gain AP action points from a normal attack, so when AP is accumulated, you can activate skills. AP can also be gained from normal attacks by allies. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's fire. Oh, oh, so we get AP for them doing attacks now. That, I think, is different. I don't think that was in two. Press the triangle button to block. While blocking, you'll take less damage, but your weight gauge or your weight time or whatever uh, does stop. When the gauge above the enemy reaches its maximum, it will attack. If you plus press block at the right moment, you'll perform precision guard and receive much less damage. Yeah. All right. Use square and a triangle while holding R1 to activate skills. Activating skills costs AP. Okay. Got it. After attacking... Okay. Alright, we're chaining some skills together there. Oh, this concludes the tutorial. Now go unleash your combat prowess to the world. Alright, and... Oh, you're not attacking me. You should move, buddy. Hit him with a, a chain of skills to start off. Okay. We got that going our way. And we cooked his goose, as they say. Alright, we were just switching around, smacking people from all sides. Not bad. Not bad. All right, I'm getting, I'm getting into the, the willy-nilly again here. Oh, whew. We managed to beat them somehow. I've never seen these monsters here before. That is fair. But what's with the eye? Oh, she has a headache. Oh. Riza, are you okay? You're not hurt from this battle, are you? You said you weren't feeling too good earlier. Why didn't you just tell us before we left? Sorry, my head suddenly felt heavy when we got here. We've got some injured, so we should head back. At least we learned that this place is dangerous. You good with that, Agatha? Yes, it's too dangerous to press on with the injured. We should go back and report for now. Sorry. No, you did a great job. We'll take care of your injuries. I, I mean, Ryza will. Hey, I was just about to say that you're beginning to look a lot... Look a lot like a Bruin Air, but I guess not. What? <laughs> Go easy on him. Bose is excited that he got to test the fruits of his training. Hey, Tao. Tao. Oh, I'd like to hear more about that. 
After he went back to the island, Oboz joined me and Lent for a while to train in swordsmanship and ruin exploration. He was hoping to go on an adventure with us one day and trained really hard, you see. Really? We're going back. Give the injured a hand. Uh-huh. He's finally going to join up. He was serious. I'm telling, my, I'm telling myself too, but try not to make fun of him, okay? I wish the, the white writing was a little bit, like, there's a little bit of a darker edge around it. Gets lost a little in this. Not too bad. Yes, yes, I know. Oh. R reach? What is happening? What's this? A voice? Where is it coming from? Reach, honor, chemist, with reach. The sound is, it's in my head. What is it? Who, who is this? Thou, an alchemist in pursuit of honor, shall reach into the code with the key in thy hands. Huh? Ooh, look, shiny thing. Shiny thing in the water. What was that? Also, she's on the beach in high heels. I, I don't know. Ryza, we're leaving. Uh, okay, I'm coming. I, I, I assume that's not a good thing to do, high heels on the beach. But to be fair, I have absolutely no idea. Never worn high heels, and I don't know how they would perform on the beach. The reason why we're on such a dangerous task takes us back to the day before. Oh, good, because I was slightly confused as to what was actually happening. I actually did not watch the uh, opening video that I, I separated because it basically explained the kind of the details of the first and second Atelier Ryza games. What I'm saying is that with the desaline desalination equipment, everyone can easily get water. Uh, sorry, uh, it, I showed how it works and even drank the water, didn't I? What more do you want? There's no problem with that device. It's just that water is a sacred grace from the island's water source. It's not a matter of convenience. I do recognize your alchemy skills, but... But, yes, but... This is surprising. Raisa is arguing with the elder at the town assembly. She's come a long way from being a troublemaker. According to Father and Lumbar, the villagers rely on her to think that she was just a brat not so long ago. And now she's an alchemist who makes everything from medicine to explosives. We came back for summer break, but looks like she won't have time to hang out. Ah, you should have invited Patty. Well, yeah, she wanted to come to... Corkin Island, right? But she, she can't leave the capital so easily. That, that's fair. Says the person who takes the pain medicine I make for his lower back. Those are two different things. Then I suddenly felt something. Elder, Ryza, come, see this. That this is eventless life. That this is eventless life of mine? What? What's this commotion about? Sorry. I should have just read it. Didn't make any sense to me yet. Some islands suddenly appeared at the bay of Lake Elipis. Elips. Elips? Elips. Sure. What? I will try to read these things. I will probably butcher a lot of it. I apologize. Hopefully I'll get better at reading as we go. Summer is about to start. Yeah, I don't really understand why they have such odd choices for camera angles. A dazzling and turbulent summer is about to start. That's what I felt. That's very interesting uh, camera angles for a lot of the dialogue that I wouldn't have chosen. Anyway, enjoy.
Usually that's the thing I would cut out. So huh. hopefully it's fine. Hopefully. <sighs> okay, so uh, a couple things. First off, I, I am playing on the PlayStation 5. I think I told you guys that. Uh, if I didn't, PlayStation 5 version of the game. Also, also, um, beware of spoilers, obviously. Uh, it's you know We're playing through an RPG type game, right? So there's going to be spoilers as we progress through the storyline and so on and so forth. So, of course, be aware of that. All right. Uh, whew. Who knew there were monsters on that island? It was a good idea. It was a good idea to send scouts first. But more importantly, Bose, are you uh, sure you're not injured? You've always kind of you always like to act tough. Stop it, Father. Let us worry about the trading ship arriving at the island, not about me. That's true. <laughs> the trading ship will be here soon. I hope it's careful and doesn't get stranded in the lake. I have some fishermen watching over the ocean, just in case. Lumbar, go to the harbor and announce a reward to those who find the trading ship and guide it safely. Yes, sir. By lower back support. Well, tough situations. Situation, but the islanders seem to be doing fine, aren't they? Ariza. Huh? What did you say, Tao? I like to call him Tao. It's because I'm sure it bothers people. Maybe I'll go with Tao. Probably going to be Tao. Anyway, uh -huh. What did I... Are, are you really okay? If your head still feels heavy, you should go to a doctor. Or maybe a alchemist, huh? Huh? No, I, I was just thinking. My head feels fine now. Okay, then. Hey, Ryza, can you make an ointment for the injured people? Yes, of course. Let's get me go to my witch's pot. What, what are we... I wonder if the town assembly will make any concrete decision. If you do something remarkable to solve the island case, uh, maybe the elder will say yes. Do you really think so? Well, I do hope so. <laughs> this dialogue, I feel like I'm back uh, to the island. Students visiting home are so carefree. As for me, I have alchemy requests to take care of. I think I'm out of ingredients. Well, I'll have to go and get them. Oh, okay. Well, that is a... Wait, how is the boat being propelled? Just currents? No one was rowing. There was no sail. Can you row a boat just from behind like that? Is that a thing? Maybe. I don't know. Hey, Teo <clears throat> has uh, joined the party. As has Bose. As Bose knows. Or Bose. 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 Alright, Bose. What's up, buddy? Press the circle button while moving to, toward a slightly higher step to climb up. You can check it via the help menu. Alright, sweet. With the exception of a few quest categories, each quest has its own target point. Nice. The target location indicates where the event will occur, which monsters to defeat, what materials to collect, and where to report the quest. Once a target for that location is achieved, the quest will continue. Target icons are displayed on an area map as well as on the mini-map and field screen. Quests that have not yet been activated are marked with a question mark, and when the quest is in progress, it will change to an exclamation mark. Uh, on the screen, you can check it via help. 
<clears throat> All right. Press the L3 in the field to switch to photo mode. In photo mode, you can create your own unique scenes by posing your characters for the camera. You can check that via help. Well, you know, a lot of people like photo mode. That's good. I think I get medicine. I get all the medicine ingredients found around here. All right. We're off on a hero's journey. Uh, there are special landmarks in the field. Discovering landmarks increases the amount of information displayed on the area map and is useful for exploration. Check it via the help menu. Big commotion in the village. Every piece is uh, chaotic. There must be something we can do about the anxiety of people. Uh, we should probably look at the map. This is how we run? Yeah. Is this the map button? This is a map button. Here's an area map. I, there's, there's a better map button, right? Oh, that, that's... Oh, okay. All right, I got it. Well, I suppose we're heading this way. Shrink it back down. Hey, in front of the, the hideout. Cool. So we visited a place. We got some uh, interesting... To go to the pixie forest. Various objects in the world could be moved or used to move with by pressing... Uh, okay. Or used to move by pressing next. Uh, updates. Hey, we got a whole bunch of costumes. Another look. Back to summer. Gem pack. Key pack. Pre-order bonus has been applied. Summer look costume has been... Uh, set has been unlocked. Uh, this is, uh, I guess, maybe our secret hideout? Yeah, it kind of looks like it. Anyway, we're going to go to the Pixie Forest. Let's let's uh, let's get to Hustle and let's get a little bit of gameplay and some uh, adventure stuff going on here. That's been a little while since I last played uh, one of these. It's great. Oh, they're, always, they're always enjoyable. They're fun. Okay, well, we got some stuff here. Approach plants and ores that can be gathered and press X or square to gather. I wonder what we'll encounter this time. Hope I find something good. Swing our stick. There it is. Now pick it up just in case. I'm sure Ryza can make something useful out of it. Yeah, she can. Well, I don't think we've gathered any uh, medicinal ingredients yet. Or edible ingredients. We're kind of getting some edible stuff now, maybe. Oh, that didn't work. Alright. We gotta bonk the log. Gather all this stuff up right here. Smack the log. Smack the log up. Alright, I suppose we could check the... Uh... Yeah, we're, we're getting closer. We are in the forest of the pixies. Ooh, this is one of the things that we need, I think. Yeah, there we go. Grab that. Grab this, this, smack this, but I can't because I don't have the correct tool for it. But I can bonk this, I can bonk this. Uh, okay. Snag that up. Yes, I got the necessary amount. Now I just need to go back to the hideout and synthesize it. I'll quickly make it and take it to him. But I didn't get to bonk any. I mean, like, I, I bonked some plants and shrubs and things and logs, but I don't really get to, like, beat up any aminominals. Ores and plants with the shimmering light are higher quality materials than normally gathered. Ooh. Shimmery. There's a couple of them here. Alright. Well, I gathered up all my shimmeries. My shimmeritons. Alright. Go ahead and bonk our way through this. Gather, 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 gather. Oh, oh I, gotta I gotta swing on these bushes. Get them fresh burrs. From the burr bush. Alright. Looks like we gathered everything. Um, we like a kangaroo into this? Yes, we can. Alright. 
We could swim. Don't... Oh, yeah, that's right. Launch of fruit falls. Yes. And then I think later on we get other stuff that we could uh, technically use. I mean, we should head back, probably, but, uh, you know. Until they tell us we're out of inventory space, which uh, has not happened yet, I feel like um, gathering more is not necessarily a bad plan. Okay, fungus is not, uh, not having any of it. I had a, I have a feeling I had to do something. Yeah, I know. We should be doing other things. And I'm just being a greedy Gus. Ah, do I look organized now? Well, define organized. Oops. Uh, define now. All right, I suppose we could probably start packing it in. Unless you guys don't mind me doing a little bit more exploratory measures. I mean, again, there's all things that we could eventually use to craft bombs and all sorts of other crazy things. But crafting is a big part of the game, and you can't craft stuff if you don't have the materials. All right. We should have been able to find the ingredients by now. Let's go back and look. All right, all right so, yep. So they said, uh... Get to step in, do what you're supposed to do, and everything will be fine. I think I can probably I teleport. Right. Oh, there we go. There's the area map. That is weird. Okay. I can return to base from here. All right, we'll just do it that way. I was going to run back, but eh, no need to falsely pad it out. Ingredients ready. Cauldron ready. Let's get started. Ready. What? All right, Atelier Riza. Ooh, tutorial. Synthesis of the art of creating new items from multiple ingredients through the power of alchemy. Cool. A recipe is required for synthesis. The more recipes you gain, the more items you can make. Just makes sense. Let's synthesize some grass beans. Yeah, we know all about them grass beans. They are our first healing thing that we get. All right, when you select a recipe, the material loops will be displayed. Ingredients are put into material loops to synthesize. Each material loop has a specific type of ingredient that can be used. There are also elements, fire, ice, bolt, and air. Ingredients also have elements. Did we just say that? Um, and when an ingredient with the same element as those in the material loop is used, the element values will be accumulated. Oh, the loops have elements and the materials have elements, or ingredients have elements. Okay. When a certain number of element values are accumulated, the material loop will be leveled up and will become more effective. Accumulating element values in the material loop and making them as effective is making them effective is the first step in synthesis. The material loop in which the ingredient this sounds very convoluted and confusing, but I think once we start doing this, it'll make more sense. Because I, I think I know what they're going for here, but it just sounds like a lot of words that don't mean a lot yet. But we'll see. We'll see. The material loop in which ingredients can be added from the beginning is called a core ingredient loop. The core ingredient loop is a material loop into which ingredients must be added. First, put the ingredients into all the core ingredient loops. So I think we have to do what? Effect one and effect two or something? The rest are all like uh, stuff. Okay. We don't really have a lot of uh, options here. Okay. And then uh, Wasser Wheat. All right. Now that all your core ingredient loops have been filled with ingredients, you can start synthesizing. But we also have all these side things now available too. Press start to start synthesizing. However, the resulting item will only have minimal effects. Let's boost the item from here. You can add ingredients until the quantity reaches zero. We have quantity four right now. Uh, this is a trait loop, which is an important material loop to transfer the traits of the ingredient to the synthesized item. 
which is nice. When you accumulate element values in the trait loop and level it up, you'll be able to transfer traits. Transfer traits allows you to transfer the traits of the ingredient to the item that you are synthesizing. In other words, unlocking trait loops, adding materials with traits, and then transferring traits will allow you to make more powerful items. Yeah. Now that we have the basics of synthesis down, let's take a look at the steps of synthesis again. Number one, add ingredients to all core ingredient loops. Add ingredients to trait loops and other material loops to boost. Three, start synthesis when the number of inputs reaches zero and or when start is pressed. This is the basic flow of synthesis. Now let's start synthesizing freely. Press start to start synthesizing immediately. All right, let's try it out. Um, let's, uh, all right, well, they're talking about the traits. Let's do traits first, then we can do quality after. We can get quality or we can get expensive. Can't get pure and innocent, apparently. Unless we put more than one there, which we could technically do. Um, I'm, I'm gonna try to... I'm going to try to put three there. I don't know if that allows us to get pure and innocent. I... Now, what we could do is we can back out. We can just do these two to start with. One and then two. And then we can leave from there. Oh, sorry. Oh, that, that's right. Oh, okay. So the all right. So this this will be two of the uh, little snow uh, snowflake things. So if we go ahead and we do one of these and one of those, it's actually the perfect combination. That's a, a direct level two without any overflow. And then we can come down here to the quality one, and we can do one of these. And again, we can do one more. No, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay, now. We actually get expensive quality and healing. Do we? Oh, we have to check which ones that we'd want. So we can do all of those. Um, I don't know. See, I never quite figured out because it's a level two grass bean. So I guess we get the top two traits. Maybe at level three. Maybe as these level up, we get the additional traits. I never quite figured that part of it out exactly. Like how do we? Like do we? We actually add traits to it that are locked. And I haven't figured out yet how to unlock those. I'm sure it's happened. I'm just not sure how that works. Uh, effect increases with trait level, max level 15. Earn up to 30% extra when selling at a store, plus a guaranteed 5 extra coal. Yeah, no, that's fine. Ta-da! Grass beans! Yay! We're a heroine. Cool. Uh, HP recovery extra small. So, if I deliver this to Agatha at the harbor, the request is complete. Oh no, it's like that time again. The recipe flashed in my head. What could this be? Well, I don't know exactly what this is, but I'll synthesize and check it out. That's not a thing you want to do, probably. Nice rainbow water, though, I guess. And boat ore. All right, she's synthesizing something. She's a cooking of something up. Uh huh. Oh, she fashioned a key. Okay. This is a key, right? But why this? I don't know. Why are you staring at the... Oh, you're at a desk. Okay. I'm like, why are you staring in the corner? It looked like she was next to the desk. No, I can't feel anything. I thought there might be a hidden power or something. Fine, then. I'm going to take the medicine to Agatha. In rare cases, you can obtain materials with powerful traits called Super Traits. Super traits can be transferred to items during synthesis by using materials with super traits as the base ingredient. 
However, it only works once you unlock the super trait slot material loop. Okay, I'll try to remember that. However, super traits can only be transferred from raw ingredients. An item that inherited super traits from a past synthesis cannot transfer them into a future one. Okay. If you want to transfer a super trait, use a material with the desired super trait as a base ingredient. You can check this via help. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I believe this is where we can save our adventure and our game for this day. Hope you guys enjoyed our uh, entry point into Atelier Ryza 3, the Alchemist of the End and the Secret Key, the uh, third in the trilogy, obviously, with the three there. Um, I'm I'm debating whether I... Like, I, I want to play the first game and kind of finish it, and I was going to do that after I finished the second game. I haven't finished the second game yet either. Uh, we're a bit further in. Well, we're a decent amount into the second game. So I'm wondering if maybe I should just do a live stream um, or several live streams over the course and just do a whole bunch of uh, live streaming of the first Atelier Ryza game. And then once that's done, dive in harder on two and then come back to three. Because uh, like I said, they're, they're a lot of fun. Um, I, I've played a, a fair few of these now, uh, little bits and pieces here and there. And every single one of them. Uh, not just the Ryza Atelier games, but all of them. Uh, they all have something different to offer, and they're all kind of enjoyable and fun. Silly and quirky at times, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a shockingly uh, enjoyable experience. I, I don't mean that in any kind of a bad way. It's just like, I was like, you know, I've seen these games around. It's a, There's a, you know, a large history of these games. Um, I'll try it out, because I had never played them before. And then I tried it out, and I was like, wow, this is good I, I see why there's so many games in the series and why they keep making more so yeah i'm here for it anyway a big shout out and a thank you once again to koei tecmo for giving me up with the code for this and uh, i really truly do appreciate it without generosity from folks like you i would not be able to do my job anywhere near as effectively as i do it nor would i be able to cover even a tenth of what i do so sincerely thank you and if you guys want more information about atelia ryza 3 or the game i guess as it were Information on the developer, publisher, any of that stuff, it's all going to be down below in the description of the video, just like it always is. And until the very next episode, folks, I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer. <laughs>